Hey there, this is Michelle Dion in the Positive Power Hour, News Edition. Today we have good news for you. It is October 8th, 2015. Uh, first I'd like to point out how easy it is to actually find good news. <clears throat> We're surrounded by so much negative news, and unfortunately, you know, when you watch TV on the mass media, quite often there will be nine negative stories and one positive story. I would like to change those stats to be 10 positive stories, nothing negative. And if there is something negative, because let's be realistic, there is negative things going on in the world. There has to be. It's the yin and the yang. But we could tell a negative story and a positive solution. Because I'm a solution person. I'm not a problem person. So here today, I've gone to the goodnewsnetwork.org, um, which is a website. And I've gone there, and the very first story I came across is the first Canadian city to eliminate homelessness. Fantastic story. Here in our own beautiful Canada, um, in Medicine Hat, they have um, put a roof over the head, uh, their, the heads of all their 60,000 people. They don't let anybody go more than 10 days in a shelter or on the streets, and their new policy mandates housing for everyone, which is fantastic. Now, I don't know how... Um, like if you're geographically challenged or whatever. But here in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada, we're in one of the lowest points of, of Canada. And here last night, which was um, October 7th, the date of this article, it was uh, between uh, se 5 and 7 degrees, which is cold enough that you shut the windows, some people put the furnace on, um, you get out your bigger blankets, you're going to dress a little bit warmer. Um, so to be sleeping on the street, yes, it would be very cold. So in Medicine Hat, that is almost to BC, and it's higher up um, if you were to look straight across. It's colder. That's the bottom line. It's a lot colder place than where we are here. So I can't even imagine being out for 10 days. So this is fantastic. It's a wonderful story. Just the fact that they're making their people first, you know, Oh, we're so competitive and we shouldn't be because we're humans first. Let's look after each other. You know, like all the oh, the petty stuff, you know, that, that we fight about and argue about and the competition and everything. At the end of the day, we all have a right to have food, to have clean water and to have a roof over our head. And this is for families too. Like I can't even imagine having my kids out in the coal, ah, it's not happy thoughts. So, you know, this is fantastic and hats off to the people who passed who passed that law and I think that's absolutely awesome and that's a great policy. And actually it stems from Utah who used this model to reduce its homelessness by 91% in 10 years. Right on, that is absolutely awesome. Another, per, per, blah, 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 another awesome story is the first Chinese woman to win a Nobel Peace Prize. And she's being called the three nose winner in her home country. No medical degree, no doctorate, and no time working overseas. She actually created um, a drug to fight malaria, which is fantastic. And there's so much disease going on um, in the world and whatever the causes, times are changing. You know, when I was growing up, I didn't know anybody with peanut allergies. Um, autism, never heard of it. It was a totally different era. So something is connecting all this stuff together. So when you see people that are being proactive and going outside the box, and she actually developed this anonymously. Um, I'm sure that has something to do with the fact that she's a woman. Um, and now it's all come to light that it was her and she's getting the credit and good karma is coming her way. So that is absolutely awesome. So, you know, and China is a great place when it comes to medicine. You know, they have pain-free hospitals there um, where they have no medicine and they use a lot of meditating, which I'm a great promoter of med um, meditating. And they use their minds and, and it's really fantastic. The leaps and bounds that are going on all around the world towards medicine and uh, the way she does this is actually using sweet wor wormwood easy for me to say, um, sweet wormwood, and so it's a natural medicine to boot. So when you use a natural medicine, generally you don't have the side effects, right? It's a whole different thing. 
So that's fantastic. And that's awesome. And she's helping so many people and extending lives. That's what it's all about, right? We are one. Are we not? That's awesome. Great energy. Um, here's a touching story. Five-year-old boy with a lesson for the entire world. And he actually noticed a homeless person. He was out with his mom. And he noticed her. And this is in Prattsville, Alabama. Um, and he started asking his mom about the um, homeless man. And he went and he pulled his money aside and he bought the, the man his lunch and he bought him some groceries. And like, what a wonderful random act of kindness that he did. And what a great lesson. I mean, it's a lesson for the child. It's a lesson for the adults. It's compassion, you know, for the homeless guy. And there's so many stories, you know, about this sort of stuff online. Definitely worth checking into. So if you want to read stories like that and you want to change your perspective, definitely go to um, different websites and do searches. Like this one is on the CanadaFreePress.com. It's an American story. It's on a Canadian site. Um, there's another site that's really cool, and it's called uh, www.randomactsofkindness.org. And people go there, and they report, random, obviously, random acts of kindness that they do. And it's the simple things. You know, when you smile at somebody, that's a random act of kindness. It's free, and it's the gift that keeps on giving. You know, what better thing do you have to give? And it makes you feel good. It makes them feel good. Another thing that I like to do a lot is compliment people. Do you like my green shirt? My daughter loves me in green. And <laughs> which is sort of sarcastic. She thinks I wear green a lot. I don't know. Anyways. So, you know, if you see somebody wearing something you like, point it out. You know, and sometimes the um, responses are really interesting because sometimes people, you know, suck that right up and they're like, oh, thank you. Or sometimes they're a little taken back, but then they appreciate it. You know, short little story here. I went in the bank one day, and the girl, the teller, um, was, she's in her, I'm going to say she's in her 20s. And I said, oh, do I ever love that shirt? She looked like her face dropped. She says, what do you mean? And I said, no, seriously, I love that shirt. It's really cool. And she goes, you know, I had a guy in this morning, and he looked at me and said, what's with the shirt? And she says, why? What do you mean? I thought it was really cute. And he says, well, let's just say I wouldn't go on a date in it. And so she says to me, I was going to go home and throw the shirt out and never wear it again. She goes, but now that you told me you like it, I'm disregarding what he said. And I'm staying true to my original belief. So see, see how much damage you can do when you just blurt that stuff out without thinking? I'm sure he didn't like the shirt. I mean, that's not up for debate. But he, he had no reason to say that to her. So if you have, when you're speaking to people, speak on purpose. What's your intention? Is it true? Is it effective? Is it real? What's the, what are you trying to get out of it? He had no reason to tell her that. But I had a lot of reason to tell her that I like the shirt. And I was so grateful that I did it. Absolutely, it was amazing. Simply because, you know, look at the ripple effect. She would have gone home and thrown that shirt out. That made no sense at all. So many sources for good news. Just whatever you're motivated, go to Google, go to whoever your search engine is, plug it in, random acts of kindness, good news stories, um, uh, pay it forward. That's another one. Use the search engines, but use it for good, right? That's what the world's about. We live in a wonderful place. We just need to tap into it and feel the love. And you know, when you start reading those good stories, feeling good about yourself, promise you law of attraction works good stuff will start coming your way thanks for listening thanks for tuning in i hope you have a great week and next week we'll do this all again see you later